April. April is National Donate Life Month, and a Louisville nonprofit leader is making a public and personal appeal. WDRB contributor Crystal Goodner is here to share this very special story. Crystal, good to see you again. Good to see you too, Candace. What a wonderful day, and I guess an important day to talk about the importance of life, right? Mm -hmm. Well, for more than a century, United Way has been a beacon of hope in our community with its mission to unite and empower individuals and families. Adria Johnson has served as the organization's president and CEO for newly, nearly two years. And it was last November that Adria Johnson's 29-year-old son, KJ Rose, Carrie Rhodes II was the victim of a fatal drunk driving accident. That accident also claimed the life of his younger brother. Adria's response to that tragedy would mimic her organization's mission. She would be empowered to make a tough decision while uniting a community with a simple message, donate life. And she did this by partnering with CODA, the Kentucky Organ Donor Affiliate, and now has become an advocate. Adria shares now how her son understood the importance of giving life at such a very young age. I think the shock factor for us was honestly um, finding out that he signed up at the age of 18. I was shocked that he made a decision that of that you know, magnitude and that that, that, was, that, that, that was that serious, right? Um, and to see it play out, you know, I, there just aren't words to express um, the pride that I have, the gratitude, just um, in awe of his selflessness. Coda tells us that uh, one organ donor can save up to eight lives and one tissue donor can heal more than 50 do we know how many lives were saved with KJ's donation? Three lives right now, and I'll read it to you. KJ's left kidney was transplanted into a 55-year-old female. His right kidney was transplanted into a 47-year-old female, mm -hmm. and his heart was transplanted into a 37-year-old male. And uh, this is what CODA and also a heart transplant recipient had to say about the importance of organ and tissue donation. The decision that you make to be a registered organ donor is one of love. So making sure that your family is aware of that decision, make sure that they are not shocked. We connected immediately. In fact, he, I called him my community son. Um, his heart was it's so pure and genuine. And when he learned of my story, um, he immediately told me that he was registered as an organ donor. Adria had already gotten the information and, and then the beauty of that is even she allowed me to come in and, and share my story with her family, um, that I was the other side of that decision. Wow. Uh, just an important thing to note, uh, the lady, Monica Brown, who was a heart transplant recipient, her and KJ actually worked together at oh. Cities United. And uh, what she was talking about is how uh, when he knew that she went into heart failure and needed a transplant, he proudly told her at the age of 18, he made the decision to become a donor. And Adria often refers to her son as KJ, and KJ's life was cut short, but Adria often refers to her son as uh, her sunshine. Mm. And although KJ's life was cut short, because of this donation, his life will never fully be extinguished, just transferred. Yeah, we've had a coworker here who has since retired who was, um, received an organ donation, wow. and I mean, his life was failing and received that lung transplant. And so we've we have witnessed that firsthand here. Uh, to see the life that that's given for many years yes. and all the impact that has, you know, on not just that person, but their family, their family. and their grandchildren mm -hmm. and all the people around them. Thanks yes. for sharing that story. Thank you so much. We Candace. appreciate it. If you want to know more information about how to register to become an organ or a tissue donor, you can visit donatelifeky.org.